This is one fun gathering at Levi's Stadium. And the San Jose Earthquakes are hoping the good feelings last while the Seattle Sounders look to spoil the party. Evans returned from injury. The midfielder, the U.S. international, had a little bit of a knee issue, but he's back in. He's going to tuck inside in midfield and allow Yedling to get around the outside. And up front, Obafemi Martins and Kling Dempsey. Those two have been so dynamic for Seattle. The first part of the season are going to be influential again tonight. Baselinas will cut inside on his right foot, playing as an inverted winger. And up top, Yannick Jalo. Coming off an impressive performance last week, he likes to come underneath and allow Chris Wondolowski to get up front. In front of close to 50,000 fans in the opening events at the brand new Levi Stadium, we're underway. And also for Gonzalo Pineda, who's recovered from an hockey tip a moment ago. It's for Dempsey. Dempsey given the space, and it's a save from Bush. Talked about it in the open. Brad Evans tucking inside, allowing DeAndre Yedlin to get around the side. Opening up the space there. Pineda comes through the middle, and Dempsey, the defense is backing off, giving him too much space to get that shot off there, and John Bush makes a great save. Carelessly given away in the center, immediately off the restart. Dempsey the other way. Brad Evans trying to get there. Cuts it back, and it's Jason Hernandez with a trailing leg to block it. Otherwise, Martins has on a platter. Danger not done. Here's Dempsey. Laying back for Pineda. Pineda sidestepped Karazzi, shot through traffic just wide. Again, this comes from a careless giveaway from the Earthquakes. And Dempsey picking up that ball from the space. This is a great pass from him, put, leading Brad Evans to hit it first time. Ops to square it to try and get Martins in the middle. And then here's Pineda, great feet Aaron underneath and just curls it wide of the post. Stewart, give me your sense from down on the field. There's a question of whether this is a rivalry, if it is, how big, et cetera, et cetera. But it sure seems like this has been a very emotional and hard-fought game so far. First of all, Jalla over the top for one, allows he gets inside of Zach Scott, and Yama Jalla has scored! This is the first time in the game we've really seen Chris Wondolowski in great positions combining with Jalo. A great ball over the top. Zach Scott caught a little bit far forward and cool, calm finish underneath Fry. That's a great turn from Wondolowski. He's completely onside. First time finish past the onrushing Stefan Fry. And great momentum boost there for the San Jose Earthquakes. Two goals and two for the man on loan from Benfica of Portugal, Yannick Jallo. That's the hour mark in this first ever event at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. New home of the San Francisco 49ers. Wondolowski trying to set up Jallo for a second of the day. Puts it wide. And Jallo is down in pain. Again, these two combining so well. Chris Wondolowski with some phenomenal hold-up play. Puts Jalo in. Tries to go with the outside of the foot. Wrap it around the keeper's near post. Here you see it. Wondolowski takes it off the chest. Plays Jalo in, who again, making the run off of the striker. Last slashes at that one and just puts it wide. I've seen Wondolowski exchanging words. We saw last week that as it's quickly back in, Scott heading it across. Cooper trying to get up for it. Tipped over the bar by Bush. And out for a corner. It's a heads up play there from the Seattle Sounders. Need to see more of that this half that they're going to get back in it. Push the tempo. Quick free kick. Zach Scott gets it across the box. And Kenny Cooper looks like he was just thrown off there by Hernandez at the end, which didn't allow him to get enough power on the header. Pineda drives it in low. Knocked down by Scott. Cleared at least as far as Yedlin. He'll send it back into the box. Dempsey is up to flick it on. Header straight up by Francis. Dempsey! Well, that would have been something really special. We all know Clint Dempsey has an eye for the, the theatrics. Almost, you see it here. It bounces up in the air and gets his feet set. Just can't get 
over it enough to get it underneath the crossbar, but it's a great effort from Clint Dempsey there. You see it, the overhead kick has his eye on it the whole way, just doesn't quite wrap his foot all the way around it and get it under the crossbar. And now a free kick in a good position for the Seattle Sounders as John Bush gets his wall set. And Dempsey score a number of times from this range. Hits it. And Alonso also over it. From to hit it with the instep. Making the ball move, testing the goalkeeper. It's Pineda instead, and it's pushed over by Bush. Here's what I know, John. <laughs> Good strike from Pineda there, gets good contact, but John Bush saw it the whole way. San Jose need to be careful here. They're welcoming the pressure, inviting Seattle to come forward. A lot of numbers behind the ball, but Seattle have a lot of weapons, and they're testing the goalie now. Pineda swings it out. Well, that's why you have a man on the post. Chris Wondolowski doing exactly what is asked of him in that position. Stays tall, stays strong, gets ahead on it. Barrett gets great contact on that ball. That's going right in the corner. Chris Wondolowski doing a great job. Sean Bush set on his line. Eight saves tonight, trying to keep the shutout. Gonzalo Pineda and Clint Dempsey standing over it. Pineda runs away. It'll be Clint Dempsey blocked by the wall. Still in, though. Dempsey picks it up. Hands back now. That's Zach Scott who rolls it wide. Gonzalo Pineda crossing it in yellow and attacking knocked down the doorstep. And it rolls out wide for a corner. All manner of chaos. Zach Scott shows great composure to get it out wide. Sam Cronin getting his body behind it. Almost a handball. We're at the five minutes now. The ninth corner of the game for Seattle. Pineda sends it in. Headed away. Referee blows for full time. The earthquakes have done it. Left for dead at the bottom of the Western Conference. The San Jose Earthquakes have life.